Chester. Tony wants the Cougars to attack. Taylor into the paint. Taylor behind the back of the dribble. Has to bring it out as he runs into Caleb. Seven seconds left. Over to Capers, back to Taylor. Taylor. Long three. My guest today is a professional basketball player, the former collegiate teammate of an NBA legend in the making, and now an author. He's here to debut his brand new book, A New 2020 Vision. I'm here with the author, Taylor Rochester. Taylor, how are you? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for having me. I just want to dive right into this book. Tell me, uh, what was your inspiration for writing A New 2020 Vision? Ultimately, um, I wrote this as a letter to my daughter my unborn daughter at the time. So the whole idea of this book is to be inspired, to be surprised, to reinvent yourself, to realize that who you are today doesn't need to have anything to do with who you were yesterday. And you might be somebody different tomorrow, but you're constantly trying to make that positive change. We have to lead with happiness. Make happiness and joy a prerequisite to all that you bring into your life. Everybody's experienced some sort of adversity in their life. Where do you think you struggled most? Genetically, I wasn't geared towards sports. And my adversity and having to overcome and work hard uh, generated from me wanting to be a professional athlete. I knew at the age of five that that's what I wanted to be. And the adversity came through, through injuries, through people telling me I'm not gonna make it, through people telling me, okay, that's great that you have this goal, but what are you gonna do when that falls through? But I had this burning desire inside to to, to tackle the highest mountains and to kind of get further than the predictions. Because you played for a lot of teams. I mean, you've been all over Europe. You've traveled into Asia to play. I feel you're like Jason Bourne with a jump shot. I mean, you're just all over the place. Okay, so somebody who's no stranger to adversity then, what is your best advice for a young person facing those similar challenges? You can do it. It's, it's pretty simple. Whatever you're actively seeking, you're gonna find it. At the end of the day, you're gonna experience life as it is, and you can't control life. But you can control how you enter into each situation, each interaction, and the love that you can give to the world. I was trolling your Instagram. I saw that Clay had made a comment that you were one of the best vets he could have had. You have a choice. Every day you're faced with so many exciting opportunities, so many different things that you can start each day. Uh, today doesn't have to be the next day from the past. It can be the start of something new. So Taylor, in a new 2020 vision, there's a, an image of a lens on there. What is that a metaphor for? That people have, see the world in different ways. Yeah. That they have not only physically better eyesight than one another, but they interpret the world differently. And because of how they were brought up and because of how they were programmed, that they feel a certain way and see the world in a certain way. Just because things have been done the way they've been done up until now doesn't mean that that has to be your future. So, the choice is yours. What are you looking for? What choices will you make to turn your dreams into a reality? Thank you.